We are four dentists and five hygienists in our clinic. We are specialized in perio and implants and one of the colleagues is specialized in endo but is working as a general practitioner mainly. So we have to deal with referred patients and a known clientele as well. The surgical focus of the office required a sophisticated hygiene concept anyway. We placed more than 60,000 implants, treated more than 8,000 patients for plastic periodontal procedures and have more than 7,000 patients in a periodontal uh, treatment or supportive periodontal treatment. In our country, focus clinics are responsible to treat COVID-19 positive patients, so this clinic does not need to treat those patients. To identify infected patients, our staff calls all the patients with appointments some days before and asks for temperature, infection, social contacts, um, hospitalization and all those questions which help us to identify uh, infected patients. We try to postpone suitable treatments and when a patient enters the office we assess the temperature with a forehead thermometer. We um, have four waiting areas installed to ensure social distancing and um, we removed all the beverages and uh, newspapers we normally supply for the patient. We supply regular face masks, surgical face masks for them. We also wear face masks all the time in the office. In the operatory, the patient, patient uses a mouth, mouthwash like recommended from the University of Wuhan. Of course, we use only trait, sterilized and blistered instruments and materials, even for filling therapy or prophylaxis. The sterilization and cleaning processes are validated. So finally, we did not need to change so many things because our process was uh, sophisticated enough before. The only thing we added is a machine which cleans the air in the operatory by ultraviolet C irradiation. To ensure that the staff members don't bring the disease into the office, we discuss daily. We discuss to ensure that they uh, respect social distancing at home. We assess the temper temperature uh, with a form forehead thermometer daily and so we are quite sure that the patients are as safe as before. The more demanding task was to protect our staff. As we do, still do not know how infectious aerosol is, we have a certain risk to discuss. As we weird uh, surgical masks any time before and also uh, protection shields during surgery, um, we are quite sure that the uh, stuff is quite, quite safe. Um, according to the low infa infection numbers uh, uh, published by the University of Wuhan of uh, uh, less than 0.00047% of the dental staff, um, uh, this estimation is quite valid. But of course, in addition to this, we try to reduce aerosol as good and as far as possible. So we don't use any air powder sprays anymore and we try to reduce ultrasonic devices. More than ever, we should focus on safety and sterility and cleaning processes in our office. So I guess the major change is a change in awareness to those problems and also to communication in the team and to the patients. Looking at my schedule, I think we are on a good way back to normality. If you are in the country with lockdown or if you prepare to reopen your office, I hope my insights were from, from some value for you and uh, uh, provided some new information. Thank you for your audience.